Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks and welcome to another video. Deuce X Mankind Divided uh, just rolled out with a DX12 update. So let's put out the two mid-range cards right now, the GTX 1060 versus the RX 480. See which one fares better in terms of performance, uh, both in DX11 and DX12. Enjoy. Cable Mod now offers sleeved ethernet and power cables, so you can color match outside of the case with Mod Mesh and Mod Flex sleeving available at different lengths. Custom cables are now outside the box. So first, in order to enable the DX12 option, you need to activate it in the Steam properties, after which it can be enabled in the options themselves. I am using the built-in benchmarks for these runs, and I will be doing three uh, presets with medium, high, and ultra graphics, mainly at 1080p, but I'll also be showing some 1440p results later. Uh, now, the game is actually quite fun, letting you play at your own pace, selecting lethal or non-lethal weapons, and graphically, it is a pretty beautiful game as well. If you have the eye for D, Detail. For example, I love the lighting in your apartment and execution cutscenes are pretty nice too. Now the difference between the three graphics presets are pretty substantial when you look at textures and the little minute details on your characters, uh, particularly the clothing pieces and also plenty of details of assets in the environment. But as far as I can see, DX11 versus DX12 graphically are the same. This is Jensen, I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block us at the far end of the penthouses. And so before we dive in, this is still only a preview of the final implementation of DX12 in this title, so more optimizations are to follow along with updates. Good old days are gone. <laughs> Haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. But it is a very demanding game, so let's just dive right in with DX11 and our lowest medium preset. I will keep the X axis static so you can see how much FPS changes from medium to high and to ultra. And I've also included the GTX 1017 there uh, just to see if the pattern remains the same on the green side. So the RX 480 is giving us 11% better score on medium and high and a 15% extra boost in FPS in ultra preset for the averages compared to the GTX 1060. Now let's enable DX12 and run the same benchmarks and check this out. The RX 480 is doing so much better. We're getting 22% better average FPS at medium and high and 18% better FPS at ultra settings compared to GTX 1060. So we're almost approaching the GTX 1070's performance here. Now when we place the DX12 results next to DX11, which are in gray, the picture becomes clear as the GTX 1060 does not move. The results are identical between DX11 and 12, while the RX 480 receives a pretty significant boost for performance on medium and high presets. Then I cranked up the resolution to 1440p and I was very surprised to see such a drastic difference between the two cards, placing the RX 480 solidly in the middle, but then again comparing DX11 to DX12, uh, my Nvidia cards did not move, while the RX 480 got that little boost. Now, there were a few interesting timbits that we discovered during our testing that could have negatively impact performance numbers. For one, there seems to be a potential CPU bottleneck for the GTX 1070 at very low settings in DX12. Notice how at lower settings we get much better FPS in DX11, meanwhile it seems like DX12 puts additional stress on a limited number of processor threads for secondary tasks. And that's a problem since this game isn't properly multi-thread aware which means even with a 6800K, a very solid 6-core 12-thread CPU, the GPU ends up requesting frames faster than the CPU can process them. And as a result, GPU usage goes down as it's waiting for frames, so when we crank settings up and increase the resolution, then the performance numbers between DX11 and DX12 really kind of are identical, so don't use low settings for powerful GPUs because you might experience a CPU bottleneck with DX12 in this particular title. And so those are our results. If you're playing the game, share your performance numbers in the comments down below if you're doing DX11 or DX12 and you might potentially find a kill switch under somebody's desk. I'm Dimitri with Howard Connects. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.